In 1932, a man called Edward Leeds Scowling began work on a huge stone structure located in Florida City. Meaning around 28 years, the methods as to how this stone structure was built are still completely unknown today. These are the mysteries of Coral Castle. At 5 foot tall and weighing 120 pounds, Ed wasn't a strong man, not like any human strength would be able to move some of these stones, but this proves that moving these stones by manpower is out of the question. Which leaves the question, how were these stones moved? There is just no way one man can move 30 tons by himself unless he was using some sort of secret method that no one knows or knew about. All of his tools coming from a junkyard, there was nothing special or unique about the equipment he was using. Some of the equipment he used were transformers, magnets, flywheels, reciprocating engines and a tripod with a strange box sitting on the top. We still do not know how all this equipment fits together, but a lot of theories suggest that anti-gravity is the answer. By changing the magnetic field of the stones, people think Ed could have moved these enormous blocks with ease by floating them through the air, which would help explain how he managed to move the Kingstone. Weighing 30 tons, the Kingstone is the heaviest stone at Coral Castle, and in my opinion is the most impressive. The stones placed on the top of the Kingstones, Ed called the crown. Now if we look at the stones at the top of the king's chamber in Egypt, you will see the exact same configuration of stones, with the exception of the two in the middle instead of one. Another amazing stone is the swinging gate. Weighing in at 9 tons, Ed somehow managed to find the stone's centre of gravity and balance it, even so a toddler could push it open with ease. In 1986, the full weight of 9 tons crushed the wheel bearings the stone was sat on, and an engineer team was called in to repair the damaged gate. When they removed the stones, they found that Ed had mounted the gate on a small pie-shaped piece of stone. The engineer team couldn't understand how this small stone could support such a massive weight, so the stone was sent to the University of Florida to be studied. The conclusion was that the stone wasn't a meteorite or space debris, but the origin of the stone could not be determined. The materials are not of this earth. Ed never let anyone see him work, so no one saw how he managed to cut and move these stones, and still to this day, is a complete mystery on how he did it. He worked on unusual hours, normally 12am to 6am, just to make sure no one could see his methods of construction, and was said to have some sort of sixth sense to know if anyone was spying on him or not. But there was one report of some children that snuck up on Ed whilst he was working and they said that he was moving the stones around by floating them through the air like hydrogen balloons, which points at the anti-gravity theory. I think it's clear to say something abnormal was going on at Coral Castle. Hopefully one day we'll have the answer, but until that day comes, all we can do is wonder. Let me know your thoughts on Coral Castle. Do you think it was anti-gravity technology he was using? Or do you think he was using a different method? Now no one knows for sure, so your guess is as good as the next person's. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Thank you for watching.